experience more pleasant. And of course, it is very, very important for all of us because I, I think that most of you have decided that this thing will become the way that you will make your, your living. And I wish you all the best success and all the best joy in doing this because it's a beautiful experience and it's a beautiful uh, uh, things, thing to be done. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. You're welcome. So, whoever wants to start uh, asking me anything, please, please do it. Uh, yeah, but before that, uh, so, so to make it clear, um, uh, so I will, I will ask you first question from, for, uh, from me. So, yeah. so because the, uh, this, this, this class is is about is all about short film. So, what do you think uh, uh, the differentiated of the short film and the feature to write? Mm. For the structure, mm. uh, as we know, we 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 already re learn about feature film, which has uh, so many books. You know, like a uh, Mickey, something like that, or Save the Cat. I mean, um, and in general, you know, um, what makes a short film? Uh, do you think that Maybe short I film? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The back. <laughs> do you think that? Okay. <laughs> Do you think that <laughs> your film has uh, something special uh, uh, from a picture? You know, um, why why filmmakers should um, um, should start from short film rather than to be a uh, making a feature directly? Mm -hmm. So what do you, uh, what do you think? What do you uh, what's uh, what's I your will, opinion? Uh, I will start mind? answering with uh, with. Uh... Uh, a friend recently sent sent me, you know, said, no, told me about the, the the proposal of writing a TV series. Uh, so I'm going already to the next step. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, and uh, and I replied you know, because it was kind of naive. I said, oh, you know, writing a TV series now industrially, commercially. Yeah means so much involvement in terms of time it's such a complicated yes uh, universe to handle that uh, you, you you know you you really need to have experience so i'll start to have it's it's a process uh, um first of all i would say short films were kind of forgotten say yeah seven eight years ago oh uh, maybe ten Mm -hmm. were, were considered to be useless because and and there was a practical reason for that because they were they were difficult you know you basically could see them only on festivals mm. the development of of uh, <coughs> the, the, the digital culture like yeah. that, you know we're doing thing now talking from italy north of italy to indonesia that last year and with the uh, 16, 17 people contemporary, like there is no distance. Hmm. That we were considering this impossible, not just, you know, even last year. Hmm. Last year, the idea that we could do a class uh, with you, not to call it a class, it's a friendly uh, discussion, with you was impossible. And the same was happening with, with, the, with short, because short is have only one major problem at the moment, which is, Shorts are difficult as commercial value. Mm, okay. they, they don't produce. They don't produce much uh, uh, income. They're, they're difficult to sell. Yeah. And don't get me like a cynical person, but you know we're all involved in in some business that has to to turn our creativity into some sort of of good or value because we have to live with it. Mm. If we don't make a living, then the way to become a professional filmmaker. What is a professional filmmaker? Yeah. Somebody that lives out of his job. No, no, no less and no more than this. Yeah. Anybody who, who can provide for his own life, maybe his own family, as a filmmaker at any point is part of a profession. They mm. may be better directors, but there may be directors that are making, you know, better. No, I don't want to turn it into, 
into uh, only money because we, you know this is cynic, like American way of judging mm-hmm. things. You know, we have different kind of values. Yeah, uh, I can talk. I can tell, or I can give a motion to a wider range of people by making a simple film, uh, or I can be a more established director that makes a very intellectual film, mm. but maybe is not able to reach a huge amount of people. Both uh-huh. things are important. No, the best thing would be to make a very important film and to talk to everybody in the world so that mm. everybody in the world gets the same sense. Handle a feature, it's, it's, it's a complicated process. You know, yeah. Giovanni knows it requires, it requires years. No less, you know. The, it, there is a there is a study, professional said that the the average amount of time that comes from idea to uh, showing of a film is five six years. You have an idea, you develop, you write it, you keep writing. It's a long process because writing means rewrite, shaping the idea from something yeah. general to something very specific, and the quality is always in the detail hmm. you know, to write a good dialogue means to write and write and rewrite and be able to give the sense not the words that you use must refer to what you don't put in words yes because exactly. film it's a process where you get more from what you see films film remember to all of you either is feature or is short feature is about what you see and what you hear, and what you don't see, and what you don't hear. Mm. It's, a, it's, a, it's a narrative process that is made of holes, mm. you know, which is called editing. Mm. you all more or less familiar with the concept of editing. It tells simple word, and I like to make this, this speech with you because it's general, but it's deep. Mm. It means telling a story by using only parts of mm. the story itself. Because if you think you're making a feature and it, a feature now is about one hour and a half, mm. the feature may be telling a story whose internal span is days yeah. or months or years. But you have this limited module mm. where you have little pieces of the story. But what is the process that you're doing? is that by producing these little pieces that we call scenes, you give the sense of the overall experience. You tell the life of a person in one hour and a half through some episodes. So you have to be very, very sharp in the choice that you make. This is the same thing with short. Mm-hmm. What is the main difference? Mm-hmm. Is that to, it's not that it's more difficult or easier. Actually, I would say, that making a good short nowadays, it may be more difficult than making a feature. Yes. Because a feature allows you that the technique or beautiful word that you use, the structure, mm. the construction takes care of our interests. Whereas a short is, how can I say, I use a metaphor, it's one shot. Mm. And I don't mean a shot in terms of a film shot, but like, boom, one bullet. Yeah. It is one movement, it, and the, this one movement has to be effective, yes. has, to, has to reach its goal, and you don't have the possibility or the luxury to go deeper and to mm. tell more to attract the interest. What is, on the other hand, that to master the structure and to handle the story requires more time because it is a bigger construction. It is probably easier because you have many, uh, you have the, especially you have the other films that tell you how you handle a story. Yeah. They're different structures. They're, you know, structure is a beautiful word, but it's exactly the way we put the scenes in a sort of a canvas. And yeah. we know in film that we can move uh, in time, that we can start the story from the end, we, we can move backwards and return upwards, which is not something that happens in our life. Yes. In our life, we go, we go straight. Yeah. The only opportunity that we have to build is when we dream, mm. which makes film structure very close to a sort of an organized dream. Mm. 
Now, short, what are your passport to the industry? Because when you move in into the profession and you establish yourself as a mm -hmm. professional, you will have to grant and secure the interest and, and the trust of the people that will have to support you in doing your film. Most likely, yes. the people that will help you doing yeah. it by granting you ah, some financial support. Now, this is something that we, me and Giovanni discuss very often. Now, we, uh, when we have, which of course is something that we have to be uh, respectful for because somebody is giving us the possibility to play this big game mm -hmm. with a purpose that is investing his money and he will have uh, a return or yeah. at least he will not lose the money. And if we, we cannot be... <coughs> you know, crazy or stupid or disrespectful of that because it allows us to live. It's somebody that gives us a job. Yeah. So we have to make the best possible film for us, for the producer, but especially for the audience. Mm. Because if the audience is, is interested in what we do, mm. we will be able to make it again. <laughs> <laughs> which it will, exactly, which will yeah, be, yeah, yeah. It will be your life from yeah. now on. So, and, and I'm closing. What is the short? The short is what shows that you have the potential yes. to entertain people, mm -hmm. to reach them, to get this special connection between our, not only our minds, but our human sensibility to reach somebody by telling, look, I give you something that is very precious. Mm. Maybe one of the most precious things in life. It's I give you some emotion. I give you something worth, something mm. that will make you feel rich. Mm. No, and some something really that nourishes your your soul, your yeah. your 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 mind, that makes you, in short, a better person. Mm. We have this incredible possibility that through what we do, we can make people entertain. Yeah, maybe we can do horror. We can <laughs> scare them. It's 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 an epitome of life, you know, mm. to to feel something. In, in some cases, by telling the story, uh, yesterday I was uh, with my son, he's 16, mm. who, who, my last son, so mm. he knows that I have a lot. <laughs> and, and we were seeing, um, we were seeing um, a Disney film because we have now this Disney channel, uh, <laughs> which may, many of you have seen, it's Mon Monsters, and Monsters of Co, it's 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. I don't know if any of you have seen it, and I've seen it. I've seen it a lot of times. And I arrive in the end, and I have to pull back a little, like, like that, because I moved. And it's a it's an animation film, which supposedly is made for for kids, yeah. but it's not. It's not only, but it has something in the story, and it doesn't even have to do with humans. It has to do with creatures, yeah. monsters, yeah. but it touches. And it provokes in you a sense of not only a pleasure, but a sense of belonging to something. If somebody made this film and let me feel that he's a friend, we have something in common. Hmm. You have the rare possibility in life to befriend people that are coming from other parts of the world hmm. just by telling what you have inside. It's incredible, fantastic. Yeah. You know? So, uh, <laughs> okay. What is the problem? Is to have a good idea. <laughs> yeah. And sorry, uh, before uh, others uh, uh, are asking the question, so I, I will ask one more question, which is Go very ahead. important. Uh, how is uh, how is the festival effect for? we, I mean, we, uh, as like, if we are a first filmmaker, is, is it the festival very important to us or mm. a first time filmmaker, especially to, I mean, first time filmmaker, like it's impossible to make, to make a, a directly feature, right? So they have to make a short, you know? Yeah. And is it festival is the right choice to submit for the film? And and what do you think the um, um, the strategy to get a to get a good pre, uh, pressure uh, 
inside for the festival. I mean, okay, I see. The festival it's, a, it's because... a big, but very, very interesting and very well put question. Yeah. Uh, and because... again, I will make a, I will make a premise. I will try to, I'm sorry, Giovanni, you know that I may be long, but I try to get a, a sense, uh, an answer that gives a sense of, uh, of, of, of the world, of the world that you are approaching because you're entering a world and we are all in the same world, you know, e even if you're in Indonesia and I'm in Italy and somebody else drops in and is in Kazakhstan, yeah. uh, before talking to you, I was having a class with uh, Hungary. Okay, to, uh, wow. A festival where I'm going and you know, clearly because I'm working for this festival, whatever you have, you will send it to this festival in uh, Hungary, in Eger, it's called Slow, Slow Film Festival because mm. it, it, it wants slow films. Okay, so uh, let, me, let me approach. The, the job that we're in, and, and we, ha we cannot have better, better experience than this with 17 people, from, uh, one from Italy, one from Europe, old Europe, and one from Young Asia, and you know, all the others from Young Asia. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's something that requires uh, connections. Mm -hmm. requires a network. You realize, Giovanni, when we were in Macedonia yeah. together, that we had a real multicultural, uh, that was the richest thing. The same, yeah. the, the, the same in Prague, no? Yeah. Um, and um, we, we, we were able to have people from America, from, from, uh, from Europe, from uh, Asia, from India. You know, I remember some of your friends from Lebanon, from uh, yeah. uh, now, uh, some I forgot, of course, people from Macedonia, from, from Serbia. So. Serbia. And everybody were, were cooperating at doing and thinking and sharing ideas. Now, what is a festival? A festival is a simplifier that allows you to enrich your contacts, your connection enormously. Mm. You can meet a lot of people that have your same needs. And if they don't have your same needs, they are looking after what you have. You know, the, there's many ways that you can go on a festival as a professional, as a filmmaker. If you have a film because, because you want to make a film or because you have made a film and you want somebody to see it and possibly mm. To become your partner, mm. you know. So you're 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 there with the quest. Let's say any of you has made this short and goes to a festival. Let's say local. There's other people Hopefully. on the other side that are willing to meet you because mm. they are looking for your film. Yes. If exactly. it's not your film, another film. So it's it's a place where, in general, economic terms, something that you we know the demand meets the request. It's a market mm. yeah. in general terms where you bring your goods and somebody may be interested in buying. But the most important thing that happens there is not just that. This is the end. Mm. The most important thing is you build, you build yourself as a filmmaker and you build yourself by sharing, by meeting other people and you build your network of people. I put it this way. Giovanni applies to the school in Prague. We get, we get along. For one reason to the other, uh, we end up meeting in another country, <laughs> in another school with other people. Five years later, four years later, I don't remember how long it is. Yeah. Me and Giovanni are still friends. We, we get along. I see his films. I give him some, some ideas, some suggestions, or some comments. Now Giovanni calls me and says, "Look, I have a class. Are you interested in in, uh, in meeting them?" Of course I am. Why? Because, and, and I'm not asking you because any of you there, any of you there, can become the possibility of making another film or making more. Yes. And and I have to 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 think that this possibility this chance opens to me a chance maybe nothing will happen we will remain friends we will be friends on facebook we will meet each other which is not bad no because uh, the next time that uh, agnes or kevin has something and calls me and says hey giovanni i have this thing 
do you have any idea? Look, things that happened two, three, two, three days ago. I get a message from a, a friend in Macedonia, which maybe you, you remember, it was a producer, Ogi, Ogi Antov. At some point, he was shooting a film in Okrid. Mm -hmm. and, and there was a set there, and some people were working there. But we made another thing together, and I wrote a script for it. Mm. And, and uh, he, he sent me a message. He says, I finished my film, which I was uh, story editor, so I'm very happy. It was even paid. Do you, do you suggest me, you know, I would like to apply to Carlo Vivari, which is a festival in Czech Republic in yeah. July. Do you have any contact? Yeah, Ogi, I was in a festival. <laughs> in uh, Istanbul, in Turkey, mm -hmm. and uh, I remember there was this girl Natalia. It, it was she was in the jury. I was in another. <coughs> we had dinner together every night because everybody joins together. We start talking, and I said, "Look, I know her. Uh, I write to her," which doesn't mean nothing, but it gives a sort. It doesn't mean that the film will be accepted at the festival, but it it builds a contact. Yeah. And, 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 and it builds a contact, not for me, but I do it anyway, because there is, this, there is a law that you have to understand, and it is good for you that you're a, a young community and you stay in the same area, more or less. I think most of you will be from Jakarta, which is a huge city. Yeah. I will see it when I come. If, if Excel makes a film and is successful, he will bring something to Ivan, to Cleverianda, to Prayago. No, not directly, but it will, it will improve the movement. You will have something shared together. You will have opportunities coming from that. Why? You were in the same class. Imagine that Excel wins in three years, five years, Excel, you're patient, no? You can, you can be even seven years. You win the Oscar, <laughs> well. and they will ask you, where did you study? Bravo, Ex Bravo Excel. Bravo. Excel now fall wins the Oscar in 2027. I, I if it happens, you, you will be grateful. Ivan Mosqueda nominated for the Oscar. Mm. Okay. And, and even the others. <laughs> Some other. Bravissimo. And, uh, and somebody will ask you, where did you study? Oh, I studied with Giovanni Rustanto. Mm. Oh, you know, that may be, and in Giovanni Rosanto was this girl, Agnes, who said, hey, I was in the same school. That means that the school was good. You know? And you will have immediately some, some reflected light mm. coming to all of you. So, you will say, but it's not important. No, it is. And, and you know, uh, I'll tell you this. Years ago, I was with a friend uh, who I met in another festival, of course. Uh, Peter is from Poland. He is. He was the head of the Polish film <coughs> agency, Film Found. We were. We made good friends. Not somebody that that you know, like my closest friend. But we meet at festival. Hey, how are you? You know, we're, we. And it, by that time, there was a Polish film which is called uh, Ida. I don't know any of you oh, may have seen yeah. it. Oh, I've seen it. It's a beautiful. Yeah. It's a beautiful, beautiful film. Beautiful film. Yeah. yeah. Ida won the Oscar. Yeah. Won, won the Oscar, won, won Best European Film, won a lot of prizes. And I remember the week before, uh, the week before the Oscar, we were somewhere, I don't remember, we were in, in Berlin. Yeah. Berlin, which is uh, a couple of weeks before the Oscar. Mm. Berlin is one place where everybody goes in Europe, Can and Berlin, but they're very close. Can is two hours from my home. It's very far from you, but it's very close. <laughs> and, Pete, and Peter was telling me, Giovanni, do you, you know, you're, you're from Italy. You have won many uh, Oscars, but do you understand what it will mean for the Polish industry to win the Oscar 27, 28 years later for every young director, for every young professional to have it is not a price to one person or to one film. It's, a, it's, a, it's something that goes to all an industry. It yeah. affects everybody. Mm. And I have to say that after that, the same director made another film that was nominated for the Oscar. It's called uh, 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 Cold War. Yeah, it's the same director. 
the same director, Wasilewski, yeah. uh, uh, and uh, and the industry in Poland is at a huge boost. Mm -hmm. So one thing that is important is any of you or the people that are around you, somebody from Indonesia, like it happened for Brillante for the Philippines, because after Brillante come, uh, comes uh, Love Diaz, because uh, with Apicha Pong in, in Thailand comes yeah. come other directors. Uh, and Bo Chung Ho. <laughs> yeah, in, in, uh, in, uh, because in, in Myanmar there was a film by a, a former student of FAMU that won oh, prizes really? for the monk. Uh, Muan Yang, and and uh, it means that Muan Yang returned to Locarno, and he opened. He came with a new producer. You know, everything is like a circle that goes in. Now, what we have to do? You come from one of the biggest country in the world, more than two two hundred million people. Yes. You have an immense legacy of stories. You yes. have. You, you, you know, through Giovanni and through some other friends, you have to raise your industry because there is no question that you can come up with beautiful films. You just tell the stories that you have. Mm. You know, I, I, I was, I was checking. Oh, you know, let's have a, let's have a, an idea of Indonesia, and I went visited Komodo. Yeah, anybody who makes a film about Komodo, <laughs> not with, not with the dragons, but. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there's the place is fantastic. It, 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 not, not, there is an island in the archipelago, which is wow, I want to go there. It's, it's a, and not only tourists, but you know, the culture that, that, that you film allows us to open windows. Yeah, you have a huge word to give to us. I know that your stories have the potential to be big, mm. uh, and, and we have to help you do in your films. Uh, growing, not we don't have to rush mm. through the inspiration by using uh, Giovannino is starting to become a more, uh, more um, uh, pro uh, uh, recognized professional. He will he will make his features sooner or later. I hope soon, and okay. and you will you will tour around and we'll have some of you in your class. Will, will be more successful than others, but everybody just, you know, look, in film, you get things when, you, when you're motivated, when you work, because, uh, you know, to tell a story, you don't need to be a genius. You need yes. to be honest, open. Exactly. Now, there are gen geniuses, but there are very, they're very few geniuses, and it's not very pleasant. So be confident, tell your story. I will exactly. try, and, and we will find a way that this thing, even through the internet or when I will come visit you, it becomes the possibility for you to become stronger. Yeah. Stronger means something that I was repeating when we were in Oakland and I was telling the student, the thing that you have to give to student most important is confidence. Try, try. When you are a student, you're not risking anything. Yeah. Follow your instinct and follow your dream. Yes. Because the dreams become true when you take them seriously. Yeah. Hmm? So, festivals. Uh, I will help you as much as I can to 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 build opportunities for you to start. And the beginning will be little things. Maybe you will not be able to follow your film because it's expensive, because travel, whatever. But then your film will be seen, and some film will be appreciated. The next time they say, hey, "We want to have this director." that uh, made this film from Jakarta. Okay, we pay him uh, a plane ticket and he comes uh, to Locarno, he comes to Hungary, he comes to wherever. And then you will meet, like in Locarno, there's 20 between directors and writers and, and, uh, and uh, like, I think we have 18 projects and all of them with the producer, they pay for travel. Mm. And, uh, and, and it's, it's great uh, because you have this group of people uh, that they they start talking and, and you know you talk at dinner you talk and you probably stay in the same uh, hotel uh, maybe you share a room and you start to hey I have this idea hmm, maybe I can help you with this I can help you with that and the most beautiful thing for me in my age is to help people becoming what they want to become wow thank you I'm long yeah I'm sorry I'm long <laughs> but I hope I hope it 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 uh, it becomes uh, interesting for you. 
Thank you so much. So okay, yeah. So uh, now it's time to uh, somebody in ask here. me whatever you want. Asking and questions. Tell me so uh, it's a, this uh, it's, that you uh, it's, it's a beautiful uh, motivation and it's it's a beautiful talking from you. I mean, it's a, it's <laughs> like uh, it impact me, it impact us so well. So uh, so yeah. Uh, <laughs> so now uh, it turns out somebody wants to ask something so don't just keep quiet this, this is the precious time don't be shy yeah I'm don't a, be I'm shy a good I'm a very good guy <laughs> <laughs> yeah so so somebody who wants to ask question euro okay, euro uh, euro yes thanks yes for money. thanks for the opportunity uh, Pertama kenalin diri dulu sendiri, diri dulu yeah. ya. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me know know you myself. That I'm my name is Yurolinos, as you know, and I'm still learning on my university third year on film. We we studied at cinematography. I see. Yes. Uh, what I want to ask is uh, it's like you explain that. Film need to have some value, right? Mm -hmm. Nah, because we need to live. Okay. Uh, what I want to ask is, uh, when I write, uh, I'm very, very doubt that I I have an idea, and there there is my idea. My effect is, uh, uh, is my idea? Can I sell it? Uh, I'm afraid I can't sell it. <laughs> so when I write a story, uh, what my job is like, uh, I need to sell this idea, no matter how how I write this down. I need to sell it. Uh, I don't know why, but it keeps re uh, repeat on my brain. Uh, then it became real over uh, my story, right? Like, uh, oh yeah, my story, I need to sell it, I need to sell it, so I need to make it, uh, like, how can I sell it properly? Something like that. Uh, do you get <laughs> no, I don't, I, I smile because, you know, we have the same problem at every latitude. I now writing a script and I'm thinking, I have to sell it, I have to sell it. <laughs> And um, and I am older. I have a family to take care. But I'll tell you this: never forget. If this idea keeps returning to your head, it is important. It is important because it's something that you have to say. There is no look. Somebody said that you can make a film, you know, even on the on things that are considered very boring. Uh, somebody said you can make a film about the the the, um, the telephone uh, the telephone uh, book uh, address, which is the most boring thing. You know, nobody reads the telephone uh, book when, when and it doesn't exist anymore. But when I was young, um, um, you have to think yourself. You have to get to the essence of idea of the idea. You have to be clear. And it's an exercise that you have to improve. What is important for me to tell about this idea? What do I want? How do I want to get in touch with others? You know, when you see films and the film touch you, you as a filmmaker are able to tell what was the part, what was the value, the essence of the film that touched you. That's the first thing. The second thing is always remember that this uh, job, and I'll call it business even if we're talking about selling, is cooperative. That there are other people around you that can help you and that sometimes to share an idea with others means making it stronger. First of all, because you are able to improve it and to focus because somebody that is interested in working with you will tell you, I think 
Like I got a message today from the girl that I'm writing <laughs> with. Uh, she's a little less experienced, and she sent me, "How do you like this sentence?" And I hate it. You know? <laughs> and, I, and I have to try because I told I told her we have to find a way just to answer your thing. We have to find a way a sentence that allows us to attract people to the story, very complicated story that we're doing, which means we have to find a sentence that allows us to sell. Mm-hmm. And, and, uh, and she is very abstract. She, 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 she gave me a sentence where I, I really don't understand the meaning because it's not immediate. And uh, so I'm telling, her, I'm telling her, not I hate it, I don't like it, but I'm telling her, I think, that, I think this sentence is not effective because it's not focused. It doesn't tell clearly. It has like two, the two words that are used, that are used are not clear in, in their sense. It, it is indistinct. I don't understand what we're talking about. So this is an exercise where you have to be very uh, straight with you. You have to understand what is your idea about. But believe me, when you have this, when you know what your film is about, what your idea is about, it becomes the greatest tool to make it effective. Because you will write it and you will keep ans- asking yourself, is what, what I'm doing connected or it answers the, the essence of what I want to say? And if not, one of the great things that you learn is that you learn to get rid of things. Because the, the, the word of shaping your ideas, it's, it's a word of accumulating stimuli and then getting rid of it by just finding the real you know, stem of the story. A story, it's something that has to be in, inherently in itself very simple and very direct and very understandable, which, be careful, doesn't mean that it has to be banal. You can touch very complicated themes. You can be philosophical. You can talk about the essence of life, but the way you do it has to be simple. I don't know if you understand the balance between these two things. Because it's something where, especially young authors get, you, you, sometimes you get fascinated with the idea of being complex, of being obscure. Forget it. You be clear. And the first way to be clear is that you know what you want to say. You may want to say more things, but be careful. Uh, I, I say sometimes to students, you're making a film. Don't make 25 films at a time. You know, one story is a story. You cannot, but I want to talk about this and also about that. It, you have to understand if these two forces that you're balancing are, can, can, be, can join together and give strength to the story, or they split the story and they make it weaker. Hmm? First thing, so, uh, selling. If you are convinced about your story, no, selling is an art. And be, believe me, uh, one of the greatest relief that you have in life is somebody helps you to sell. And it's something that you get. In the beginning, you are alone. And you have to make this, this part of the, of the trick. You're very young and you're still at school. So uh, you don't have yet the urgency of selling. You have the problem of selling. but now focus on the value of what you're doing because if what you do is valuable and i don't mean it's genius this masterpiece but it's valuable which means it can interest other people there are channels to sell it and uh, i hope that we help you not immediately but with some time to have more channels which is the most important thing because if you sell to only one store no if you have one thing and you go only to one buyer and, and the buyer says no, you're finished. But if you have 10 buyers in front of you, maybe one of them or two of them want, wants to buy your good. So you have to make it, establish yourself and become connected with people that can help you do it. And of course, in Indonesia, like everybody else, there is an industry 
And, and one of the parts of the training, and it's a part that sometimes young, young students try to this, to consider less and, and to uh, avoid thinking, try to know as much as you can about the industry. Who's, who's making the films? What films are they doing? What films the, are more, more popular with the audience? I know that any of you wants to make and Hollywood uh, blockbusters. But remember that the Hollywood blockbusters get, ma get made in Hollywood. You have to make Jakarta blockbusters. You have to make film that touch the people that you know. But believe me, if you touch the people that you know, then you will find that it's easier that the film you make will touch people that you don't know. But if you try to be as you know to to aim for the stars immediately it's a process you have to be patient enough to take all the steps of the pro of the pro what i telling you i give you confidence if you are resilient if you if you if you overcome your obstacles and most of the obstacles you have inside yourself lack of faith lack of conviction lack of hard working you know Focusing. When I write a scene, I know one thing out of experience. The first time I write that scene is a piece of crap, but I leave it down. Then I return on the, on the scene and I rewrite it and I focus and I ask myself, how can it be better? And in two, three days, that scene becomes good material. It is impossible to write masterpiece at first, unless you are Tarantino unless you are a real genius. But geniuses are very, very few in the world. You know, if you are Woody Allen, who now is very, very old, you can write fun things. But even Woody Allen writes and writes and rewrites and throws away 99% of the material he has. Because to come to the quality, you need to exercise and go and go. And this is the same with your idea. You shape it. You shape it better. That is what I want to. That is what I want to tell. Through what? Who is my character? What is he doing? What today I was writing because I had a commitment. I was asked by a producer, give me four ideas for four mainstream films, and I was concentrating on who may be the characters, and 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 the story is directly connected with the character. And I was trying to have characters that I know. So I was using, you know, I was making a story about my, my, my closest friend because I know what he's doing. And then, of course, the story, uh, he got married a few months ago, even if he's my age, he got married again. And I made a story about his job and getting married. And, of course, tried to make a comedy. I don't tell you. This is a simple mechanism. Then I was making a, I was looking for another character. And I was saying, ah, oh, you know, I may write a story about, my other friend who's my lawyer and i made a story about him and then i i was making a story that's bizarre where my inspiration was the job that my wife does but i, I took the job and 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 move it to somebody else which is not my wife because otherwise she kills me and, and the fourth one was something that i've done in the past in the years before which was managing a, a little festival and i was like let's imagine that Things that I know well allow me to be more specific, to have more information. So to write something that it sounds more real. Uh, there are tools and tricks to, ex to, to improve your imagination and your uh, skills. And uh, okay, we'll, we'll try, especially when we continue by seeing things to focus on what is the essence of the story? What is the, the what is the character? How it is introduced? You know, we'll do some examples. I will ask you to see some material, and then we will discuss it together. And I will give you some shortcuts to understand what is the meaning. I don't know if I answer your thing, but I tried the best. Okay, thanks, you for the. For the oh, you're answer. welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> okay, who who's, who who wants to ask something? Uh, let me get back to the, the Zoom. The Zoom. Okay, 
you know, I, I didn't, uh, oh yeah, here, I see, sorry. I don't see, I moved from Kevin. Yes, uh, as a first time filmmaker or post student filmmaker, do we need to enter the smaller festival first to gain profile or to submit to the bigger festival? Whatever is available, you know, if you, of course, the answer is pretty, is pretty obvious. You get into a big festival, uh, big, fantastic, great, we're very happy. But don't, you know, take, take, it's, diff, it's more difficult. I mean, the, more, the bigger the festival is, the bigger the competition is, the bigger the idea that they want to trust or to deal with somebody that uh, is already known, uh, uh, you know, it's, it's more difficult for a first time director. So don't underestimate anything. In any festival, even the festival next door, there is the possibility to improve your circle. No, from one small, you move to another one. And you have, I don't know what is the, the uh, I, I think that there is an international festival in Jakarta. So I, I think there still is, or somewhere in, uh, in Indonesia. Giovanni, I don't know. What are the big festivals in, in Indonesia? Uh, Bali. Bali. Uh, there is, uh, uh, in, in, in here, there is a specific uh, city. I mean, uh, mm -hmm. Like uh, Jakarta is more majority. The film is more um, um, is more commercial. It's more uh, yeah. mainstream. But there is one yeah. city that uh, it's uh, uh, it's specific. Uh, the film is quite an uh, artistically art house. Uh -huh. kind of. So uh, the city called Jogja, and Jogja. mostly like a. Um, uh, some some of the successful filmmakers from Jogja already uh, accept. I mean, already yeah. submit the film uh, official selection for the film for Locarno, Ken, something like yeah. that. Yeah. So and the biggest the, the, there are so many in the, yeah. in the world that that you you have you know there are some webs websites festival.com there's a uh, you know you you will see there's thousands there everywhere and uh, when when you when you or your film enter into a circle it, at any festival there's people from other festivals that are seeing your film and they and, and they 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 may want to to see your film, but you have, of course, you have to be patient and you have to be persistent. You have to apply to, don't, don't underestimate, you, you're starting. Now, you, you focus a lot on, on this film, on this thing. Uh, not, you know, Giovanni has gone around to international festivals and, uh, and uh, he, he, got, uh, he got prizes and he got, it means that from, from one it goes to the, to the other. And on and on, you know, you you uh, you build. Each career is built differently. There is not a, a there is not a pathway that is precise. The the most important thing is that you work at your pro project and your uh, idea in in the most uh, effective and in the most uh, serious uh, way. Uh, once you have your film. The, the, what, I, what I said before, there is this tendency to underestimate the part of being uh, knowing the industry well, you know, or being connected to the industry well, which means you have to introduce yourself to most people possible gently, don't be intrusive, ask if they can see your film, if they say no, thanks again, you know, right? Uh, there is a there is a way uh, you will receive a lot of no's or you will write you will write uh, many emails or many letters where you will not have answers. Sometimes people are just unpleasant. Sometimes they just don't have time. You know, uh, 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 there, there's many people that that I I, uh, I try to reply to everybody. In general, I'm very very serious about it because of what I said because I think. You can get an opportunity a anywhere. You you never know, and and sometimes the best opportunities comes come unexpected. Uh, but sometimes you you know you don't have time. You miss the time to answer, and then you 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 
uh, you don't do it. Okay, be persistent, be on the premise, be, be positive, be optimistic, and keep doing it. And you will find, you, you will have your opportunity. You, your, your, your film, in the worst case scenario, you will learn and you will realize why your film doesn't, doesn't work or is not successful. Now, don't take this thing as a terrible thing because there is never a greatest, a greatest learning opportunity than when you are told why the film you made doesn't work or doesn't or, or, or it's not liked. Don't take it as an offense, take it as a, a possibility to learn. Oh, maybe I, I was wrong in this, maybe I underestimate. It doesn't mean you're stupid or you don't have any talent. Absolutely. It is not yeah. that. Mm -hmm. It means you, you probably had diff, a problem with judgment or a problem in prejudice, you know, artistic prejudice. You were thinking this is, was worth uh, and and the, you'll always surprise you the film because the expectation that you have in the film, you have expectation on parts of the film and you will discover the parts of the film that work better are those you are not giving any, any, any faith or any trust. You know, film is a living thing. You are the creator of the film. Then film has a life and the life escapes to, from you because it, it becomes something that is still yours, that you're produced. But you know, sometimes when you look back at things that you've done, it will happen. You will think, have I done this really? I, I really don't remember. I, I, I did. There are parts that you will remember and parts you will completely forget. And you've done both of them. No? Because you tend to be more uh, attached or to put more faith or more confidence in parts where you feel stronger. And uh, and you may be, you will be surprised. You will be surprised. People are different. They react to your film different ways. Always be confident. Always think that you have. You know, you will find your 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 way. You will have your chance. Yeah. For, of course, it will happen. So learning from mistake, right? Oh, <laughs> you know, and and you learn from mistake any any age. You know, you you, you never accomplish. You keep on learning. Mistake is the, the greatest teacher, right? Ah, no, I know. Rem I remember, uh, Giovanni, sometimes I will say, you learn a lot more from a bad film than from a good film. Because yeah. from a bad film, you can see mistakes clearly. <laughs> oh, look how wrong it was in, in thinking that this part was working where yeah. it, it uh, or that we had a feeling that the story was this and it's actually that. So yeah. It's it's a pain when it happens to us, yeah. but it happens to everybody. You know, we make mistakes. In this. Uh, film is not a, a language that we have in ourselves naturally. It's a discipline to learn. It's a mm. technique. It's a narrative technique. It's, it's not craft, natural to craftsmanship. I think right. Absolutely, it's yeah. like you learn you learn doing something. Make it know, better, better, and better. That better and better improving uh, is not. It's not poetry, and even poetry is a language that you improve, yeah. but it's completely meant. It's made of putting things, to, it's very close to mathematics. You need to, you need to improve some rules in, in, in logic, in logic. So do, you think so do you think rules is important, right? Learn the, the rules, rules first. Rules is important, rules is essential, even when you go against the rules. Yeah. Because when you go against the rules, you do it because you know them. Yes. Now, there is a conscious way to go against the rules because some of the things that films that we love most, we love them because they are unpredictable and they're different from the others, which means that they went against the rules. Uh, but you cannot go against the rule if you don't know it. That's exactly. <laughs> it, it may be it may be chance. You may be lucky, but it happens once in life if you're lucky. <laughs> The second time you feel, oh, I did it. They do the same way. It's horrible. There, there, there's many directors, filmmakers, let's say, filmmakers, that have made a very successful first film. And then when they, when they do the second, they are confident, oh, I'll do it the same. But if you do it the same, they already have seen it. They're not interested. They want to see something more, something different. Now, if you are inspired, 
you have something you 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 fish into yourself and you have something new to say it, it is said that filmmakers directors always tell the same story of course they have to talk something that it's inside themselves and this is the same but they do it in a different fashion no and something tricky that has worked even tarantino's made films and i'm using him again because he's like a master of doing things against the rule. But some of his films are better than others. Some are less successful. You know, even Spielberg has made bad films. Yeah. Bad. Not so good. Eh, not so good. Anybody. Even uh, the, the biggest art house, uh, sometimes you go say, oh, I'm not really happy. Our good guy in uh, Italy, Sorrentino, made a film called uh, Great Beauty. He yeah. won Oscar. He's a masterpiece. They uh, it's a massive, it's good, but the following film, uh, called yeah. Youth. <laughs> Especially uh, the last the last series uh, about the Pope. Uh, yeah, the last series about the Pope. I like the I first one, but yeah. the second one, yeah. I think... Uh, with, with John Malkovich, it's, I mean, it's, it's terrible. It's wasted. I mean, yeah. but the, it's but, wasted. But the, the cine cinematograph is great, but I mean, that kind he's of... A, he's, a, he's an absolute artist, no? There is one of the actors I love most is the Italian guy that plays the the cardinal Silvio Orlando is ah, big yeah. in, in the series Cardinal uh, Cardinal Voiello yeah, yeah. who loves football <laughs> it's too much you know this thing about football I love the the first one I think is was good because uh, what yeah. is the name Jude Law was Jude great Law. It, yeah, it's amazing yeah. he, he was playing very unpleasant pope. Mm. No, and then all of a sudden it becomes more pleasant. But the second <coughs> one, though I I didn't even see it all. I, I got bored uh, yeah. because I'm not interested in uh, in uh, see even him can do things, uh, and and I know why. And I'll tell you the secret because honestly, he's a little arrogant. Yeah. <laughs> he's not humble. Yeah. Uh, uh, when you're arrogant, you think you're more important than the media that you're using. You're more important th than the f than cinema. But cinema is very hard, uh, tough, tough on this. Yeah. Uh, the, 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 the great, great, great masters like Hitchcock, like uh, John Ford uh, or, or, or De Sica or Bergman or Buñuel, uh, you know, they were very, uh, they were not doing one masterpiece after the other. They were doing films. Yeah, little films by size, no. But telling story, and and the complex of what we love about them is, it's like it's a continuous uh, relationship with the with the audience. Where you know, especially people like Bergman or uh, you know any film that he makes, you learn my something. My, my savior. <laughs> yeah, it, uh, of course, you know, or, or like Fellini. No, no, yes. not all of Fellini, them yeah. are big. But he had uh, uh, something. In yeah. This uh, oh, Hitchcock was Hitchcock was making films for money, yes. but in every of his film there was some stroke of genius. Yeah, because he was he was uh, he was renovating. When he didn't have a story to tell, he was renovating the form. Mm. He was making new forms. He was inventing language, which was possible before. Yeah. And, and now is and, and and again, you know, some of you will be more technical, very fascinated by uh, by the tec technicality, the shots, the uh, you know the the, uh, the the technical thing that uh, you're allowed to do. The drones, it's fantastic. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I I from the the time when I was making film, the idea that you can make a shot from above, no, impossible. Helicopter. You, you yeah. need an, you need an helicopter. Helicopter, no way. You know, one day, once I had for two days a uh, camera car because uh, because there had been an, an, an accident and the camera car was stuck in the place where we were and he couldn't return to Rome. So we, do you want the camera car? Yeah. You can have it for very little. And, uh, and I was on this thing, which is a, 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 a truck yeah. where you put a car over yeah. And you can walk over it and put the camera wherever yeah. you want. And now it's uh, it was now it's now nobody so needs easy. camera cars because you can have 
you know, you can have a little, these little cameras like, like GoPro or a little, you attach, <laughs> you, you, you attach in the, with the stick in front of the, it's nothing. Or you can do the whole thing with the drone <laughs> for free, for nothing. You know, go into detail. Oh, the, the, but but technicality is one thing that has new possibility. But the the thing that you're ending with, it's not technicality because as I say, my mom, who's eighty five and sees movie, doesn't know nothing about the drone, the 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 jib, uh, the, the 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 steady cam, the dolly, whatever. She is interesting. What happens? Now the the audience is this interesting what happens no not how it happens how yeah. it happens is for us the tech, technicians exactly great okay so uh, we okay. Have, we still have more time less whatever whatever <laughs> we have oh we so have we, uh, we have uh, uh, like a half hour so half yeah, hour somebody little. go ahead somebody yeah, oh yes great great yeah who, who's uh uh kevin is you greg. or or greg greg, <laughs> kevin, greg. you can thank you, you funny for the opportunity and alexander you come next so we have three <laughs> <laughs> okay greg um how big is the consideration for big film festival to pick films that brings their antique and traditional cultures especially for us indonesians like a uh, not very well known country mm -hmm. uh, i mean uh, me personally uh, was born and raised in jakarta the biggest city in, mm -hmm. in indonesia it's like uh, it's a modern city different but pretty much similar to western culture and we're, i'm not close to that antique and traditional culture like the japanese or the eastern part of mm -hmm. indonesia uh yeah does they does they take that as a big consideration like it's something new to them uh greg i will tell you a secret but as you a secret it's not a secret and you take advantage of it you know jakarta is a huge big city 10 million people uh i know one thing about jakarta that you have problem with water like in banks <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, it is for me coming from a, a western world where uh, you know i come from a city in italy not one of the best known genoa uh, there was a beautiful city but it is so exciting for me and believe me for people like me to know what is a story from jakarta that i would go see a story coming from jakarta regardless just because it comes from a part of the world that I don't know. Now, this you have to think, that's a secret, that this is the greatest opportunity that you have now, because uh, I, I remember a famous, a famous director I was uh, years, years ago in a festival said, you, we know in the world everything about teenagers in America, how, how they dress, what they drink, uh, what music they listen to. It's American, the stupid things American dream. That they, yeah, the <laughs> stupid things that they do. We know every detail, mm. but we don't know anything, and he was referring to Italy. We don't know anything about the teenagers living in our neighborhood. No? Imagine imagine and, and i'm not attacking i was studying in america i i have a very uh, i'm very thankful because i got a i was studying in new york it was precious but it's supposed, um, to, it's supposed to me also <laughs> yeah i know i know giovanni knows because <laughs> i was but this thing, it's very expensive it's 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 you know when 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 i was there just to and i returned to greg and i was talking to the to the dean of Colombia, she said to me, it's, it's a scandal, it's too expensive, it's not worth, I'll tell you this to, to, uh, to comfort uh, Giovanni, you know, you can do, you can, you can be a, a very good filmmaker uh, anywhere in the world. So 
Greg, the point is, if you tell me a story about you, the people that you live with, what you do, what are your desires, what are your problems, what are... I and the rest of the world will be immediately interested. This is, the, this is what you have to think. Especially because Jakarta is, is and, and I'll tell you this, I'm much more interested in seeing this than in seeing a, a film coming from Bali, for example, no? Mm. Because, uh, you know, Bali I go for vacation, and I'd love to, but a, a megalopolis, where there, there's youth that have problems, like you have a problem that is the same that I have at your age. I want to make a film. Now, how does this thing apply to the world that you live? What kind of problems you, you, you face? How would you do? You know, and, I, and I got to the question that, that, that Euro was, you say, how do I make a living about this? This, Greg, it's incredibly interesting. Now, you tend not to consider it because it's your reality. But your reality, if you open it up to somebody that doesn't know it, becomes interesting. You know, the feeling that you have, like I see the, 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 the how, what is love in, 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 in Jakarta? What is to have in a, uh, to, to love somebody? What, what, is, what, is, what is family in Jakarta? What is, what are the problems? What, what is, uh, and, and you just, you see, and the fact, you don't need to go abstract. You just have to tell me the reality of this. And if you go deep, oh, there is a cat. Or it's like me, I have a cat with me, Amanda. Uh, it's down here. <laughs> now if he comes up, I will call him. We have an exchange of cats. Uh, you, you see, Greg, it's, uh, if you tell it uh, honestly with, with the feeling, if you give me an honest, uh, you know, you don't want to impress me and you don't want, look, that's the reality. That's where I live. That's the people I, I meet. That's my friend. No, and you turn it into a story, which means that this material is focused to tell something specific and it revolves around a problem. That's the, that's the nature of drama. I'm telling the story because I have a character who lives in this contest, who has this, life who is this kind of person it's nature and is facing a problem he has to he, he you know he is he's in love with the girl and i see so many beautiful here uh is uh or, or, or to a boy i don't know whatever you know uh, or vice versa or a girl uh, he has to he has to provide for his uh, for his uh, studies he has to find a word he has a problem in the family that he has to face. And that, that's the backbone of your story and the experience that you squeeze from this are lively, are interesting. Tell me something that give me, make me know other people, make me get in touch with them directly to what they think, to what they are, to what they feel. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. The interest in this is big, believe me. The channels are not uh, you know, constructed enough. But this thing is happening at an incredible speed because in the last few years, the connection, even this thing that we're doing now, you know, I started go teaching in Kazakhstan, which I didn't even know where it was before. And, and, uh, and we will find a way that uh, your words, your voice becomes heard here through me or through somebody else or through Giovanni or through whoever. We will do it, I'll tell you. There, are, there is a festival, I said, Locarno. Traditionally, it's extremely, it's extremely open to Asian culture, Asian, Africa, but I'd say more Asia. There, are, there is a festival in, you, in Italy, in Trieste, that, uh, it's, uh, that has a program called When East Meets West. When, when, when things from the East are coming to the West. Interesting. And it's directly connected with the festival, one of the most important festivals in Asia, which is in South Korea, Busan. Mm. They, have a, they have a common program. Now, you know what happened? That the director of Locarno, last, last year, this year, became the new director of Berlin, which is the second most important festival in the world. 
yeah. no, Berlinale. Berlinale. In the, it started in, in February, the new direct. So what he oh. brought immediately was wow. that there is an openness to um, to Asian and new world uh, cinema like never before. It's happening. I'll tell you something about Cannes, the most important film festival in, in the world. Mm. If you go in Cannes to the market, which sooner or later it will happen, you know, you will visit, you find that the market believe me i'm not lying 80 percent of the company represented in the market are from asia and especially chinese especially chinese okay 80 percent is, is chinese the, the, they are mostly asian countries and more and i would say two-thirds of them are from china but you know china yeah. is china it's yeah, yeah. it's one and a half mil billion people yeah. Uh, you, you know that the biggest, the biggest film industry in the world is India. Mm -hmm. India is opening to, to the world. It, it, in terms of film produced and in terms of, uh, of uh, people seeing the movies, India, there is no America. No, you're kidding. In India, there, uh, uh, there's hundreds of, of millions of people going to see the movies. Like never, never... Uh, and it's opening to, to the world. They have, they have an important market now in, in Goa. Uh, uh, South Korea, South Korea this year won the Oscar. It never happened before. It never happened before that the film outside yeah, America Yeah, won uh, Palme d'Or, right? Won, won best film. Yeah. Never. Not, 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 not an Italian, not a French, not a Spanish, never. It was won by South Korea. This is immense for, for all of you. That's what I said before, you know, because, and, and if you see the secret of, of South Korean films is to tell their own stories of their own people. When you, when you start doing, you are uh, 250 million people, three times as much as Korea. So imagine the potential, you know, imagine what the Indonesian I industry could become. Of course, you need some structures, but the structures come after the films. When, when the industry will learn that you have a interesting and exciting material to deal with, they will follow you. And, and, but the process of opening up, it's already happening. That's why I'm here talking to you. This is one example, little one, but it's an example. I find that is very, very interesting for my career as a teacher, as a trainer, or as simple as a person to spend time with you guys. And we are uh, six hours, how much? It's, it's, it's pretty late for you. you for, in a while you go to sleep. Uh, five hours, I think, difference, no? Five hours difference, you know? One third of the world away. Uh, different part of the map. Now you will go and check where I live in Genoa, <laughs> in, in north of Italy. Uh, this thing will, and, and the good thing is that this thing cannot be stopped. It yeah. will be more and more and more and more. It's a process that it cannot be stopped. Now we have the virus that is stopping things, but the virus will pass. But your creativity cannot be stopped. Yes. Yours, uh, Kevin. Uh, Lutfi and Alexander. Now, Kevin, your <laughs> it's your time. Uh, thank you for the opportunity. Uh, I'm recently uh, yep, developing some developing uh, some stories for short films, but I have some problem. Like mm -hmm. uh, I already uh, proposed three stories. Uh, mm -hmm. I I. I don't know what stories uh, right for to make the to the film. I can uh, less patience, I think. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> because you you are a little older from these kids. Uh, I can see. Uh, I'm only twenty three. No, you're a kid. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you, you, you look like uh, no, no, not forty, but uh, you yeah, look yeah. Like, <laughs> no, you're a kid. You're a kid. Be patient, Kevin. Yeah, yeah, Kevin, yeah. 
with a name like your Kevin Williams, you 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 sound like a like a football player from England. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, okay, Kevin, I will tell you this. After this thing is finished, I will tell Giovanni. He has my my email, and you will have my email. Uh, send me your ideas. In in Thank short. You. Okay. In short. Okay. You know, make, try to make it readable, like you know, half a page, half a page, mm. and I will reply. Oh, yeah. At least, uh, if not, I will reply uh, in in person in writing, which I will do for some. I will reply next time we see, which will be we will decide with with Giovanni when you are when you are ready to do it. Okay. Uh, yeah. And we'll say, okay, Kevin, I read your thing. I I I suggest you this and this. And you know, it will not be the solution, but it will be you need now to move the mechanism mm -hmm. to fit, and you know, to move the mechanism, you have to see story from different angles, from different perspectives. What if maybe the problem is in the structure, maybe the problem is with the character, maybe the problem is with the event? Yeah. The important thing is that I get what you want to say, yeah, mm -hmm. what is the material you have, yeah. so. We will do this, okay? Thank you very much. Okay, okay now, uh, okay. ladies. Now I have, a, I have Aldi, Aldi Sander. Then I go to... to... Hello. Hello, Aldi. Hello, Mr. Hello, Mr. Giovanni. Hello, Mr. Giovanni. There's two Mr. Giovanni. Giovanni, your Giovanni, I call Giovannino, which means little Giovanni, not because he's little, but because he's younger. <laughs> And me, I'm no, I'm old. Giovanone, I'm old. because I'm big and old. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, my name is Aldi, and then uh, actually I'm not a film student, but I I study law at uh, university. But I love uh, films and I love making them. And then actually I have three questions, but the first I think you already answered it to Euro's uh, question. Uh, so. Uh, my question is that I see that filmmakers, especially uh, new filmmakers, uh, making films just for festivals, not to tell a story. So I know it's important to be selected into film festivals, but is there any way uh, to attract people, producers, or other filmmakers to uh, besides from film festivals? And then uh, the other question is uh, because one of my dreams is to be selected into film festivals. I I just curious how uh, <laughs> film festivals specifically look at films. Thank you, Mr. Giovanni. So first of all, bravo because you have your festival festival already going on. I will I will answer. Now, be careful because this is a tricky uh, a tricky thing. Now, because. You think I will do a film to raise interest to people that are like film reviewers, critique, you know, the film world and on and on. But never, never forget, you're doing films for the audience. If you make film for the audience, then you are a, a successful filmmaker and and you do what you're supposed to do you know when you tell a story imagine that you are among these people and you're 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 spending time together like it would it will happen sometimes you will meet probably and uh, you know i'm telling you something that happened uh, that happened yesterday you uh, or something that that happened in my life or you know i'll give you even a better example let's say you're with somebody that you want to impress i don't know a girl or or, or whatever and you're telling a story that is going to reveal who you are and you want to be effective. You know, you, you, you try to use the best that you have to get the interest, the approval, to be insured, to be loved. You know, not, not to be loved directly that you go home and you make love with them, but uh, okay, even if it's good. But, uh, but you know, to, to, to build a connection, that's what you need to do. You have to build a connection with others. Now, if you build a connection with others, with the audience, believe me, the festivals are less important because 
it's the audience that will want to see your film and the producers I tell you another thing don't care very much about the festivals unless the festivals help them to sell but they care about the audience because the audience it's the person that is buying your material that will go to the theaters now don't worry about now because now you are in a condition where you're setting up your career but you have to establish this relationship with the audience like when i said to greg if you tell a story about the people of jakarta and you are from jakarta and you and you reveal them something that will make them feel a community the people of jakarta will be interested in your film now you will need some you will need some structural help you will need to go to a theater you will need to be released to be distributed okay this is not your job your job is honestly to make the best possible story the best possible story you know you turn your head is there it's not somewhere hidden in in a hidden uh, uh, secret box it's not a treasure it's what you have around because you look around with your eyes with and with your open mind you will find stories in your family with you, with the people you know with your friends there are thousands of stories that that you may that you may use now the festival can be a trick side of course you need it as i said to giovanni before you need it because the festivals help you to have a bigger network you see that's the thing that i said before what is important about the festival build your network reach more people that can help you do the film not getting a prize getting a prize is good for your ego it may it may tell that you are a good one it may give you something more but it may work even the different way because you may find you may you may win a prize and discover that your film is less interesting is interesting only for a very limited amount among of people and and sometimes you get very confused about it. but you know look this when i made my first feature i was completely obsessed by getting good reviews i got good reviews and nobody saw the film uh you know the, the truth is that uh, you have to be you know i didn't have a good distribution there was the film now it's sort of after 25 years it, it it is kind of popular to those who have seen it but it can, i can't say it's a big success because it was never a big success but that's what, when i was doing directing now i'm i'm a screenwriter so that's that's your first uh, your first thing yeah. the second one sorry i i forgot remind me what was the second one uh, uh sorry uh one of my dreams uh is to be selected into film festivals and i'm curious how film festivals specifically ah, they, they the film yeah well there there are you know, there are film film festivals they're very competing with each other they want to have films that will will enhance the, the 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 perception of the festival so there are like first level festivals you know there are the, the Cannes, berlin uh, i would say locarno is a fairly fairly renowned festival uh, shanghai in 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 asia uh, busan is a, the, like the big leagues and then there are festivals that are 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 like devoted to discovery and and they may be you know you, you if if it's great if you go to one of the big 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 ones but maybe you know if you go to Cannes, you will never have the interest that you may have like for example i work with a festival in turkey in istanbul which is is uh, is not as big but every film that gets there has the right interest you know in Cannes, they manage 200 films in two weeks there are films, uh, you know, you, even if you get in the comp, unless you win, your short will get see, will get very little interest, because not enough e people will see it. So sometimes it's better to 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 go step by step to go to a less important festival, but to have a bigger interest in what you do, than the opposite, the the other way around. You know, going to festival is great, especially because you can travel, you go big hotel, you eat good food, and and it's really really gratifying. But this will happen. 
you know, don't worry. You know, the, uh, at some time in my life, going to festival was essential. And, and, and I was going to a festival every two years and, uh, and I was, uh, oh, fantastic. It was very little festival, one day or two days. Now, I, I, I go to festivals almost, I, I get invited to many festivals, I'm guest, and, and I, I have access to them when they're less important to me. This is like a lesson in life. You know, don't, your focus is make film, be concentrated on making the best film possible. I understand that I say something that may sound diminishing, but it's not. Because if you make a good film, the festival will come for sure. They, they will look after you. But if you make a film for the festival, you may be, you may be tricking yourself a little by following. I'm not saying that you're doing, because it's, it, it's fascinating. It, it's, it's great. It's gratifying. It, it makes you feel great. But, you know, maybe it's not what you actually have to do, especially now that you're establishing your career. And let me tell you, by the way, studying law is great because it gives you a great structure yeah, of, thank being, you. of being methodic. There's a great tradition of people that study law, which is very serious because you need to study a lot, and then apply this being very uh, methodic to filmmaking. No, uh, it 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 is it is important because it it gives you it it tells you that you need to go step by step. So you know there is space. You can, you can be both a great lawyer and a great filmmaker. And uh, and I wish. <laughs> Amen. <you would> be. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Yes. Giovanni. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going. Uh, I'm going to the. the there was uh, Giovanni. There was who, who was there? Oh, Prego. So try uh, now, female. Female first. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Ladies, ladies first. Ladies first. Ladies, ladies first. Uh, Cindy. So Agnes. Agnes. Agnes uh, or or, or yeah. Cindy or Amanda. Amanda, how's the cat? The cat is okay. Is with you? Uh, Actually, my uh, cat, my cat already went outside. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> very big cat. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I have a question. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm having a hard time in writing dialogue, and I want to ask how to write <laughs> a meaningful dialogue that can touch people. Yeah. Oh my God! You know, Amanda, you're asking one question that uh, that I fight every day and now for thirty years. How do you write uh, good dialogue? Who? It's I would say dialogue is a gift. It's a, it's it's a, there are people that are actually writing only dialogues. You know, they 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 are hired only to write dialogues. Now I, I will tell you this. Uh, and, and don't take it like a diminishing, but it's very, very important if you listen, listen. You know, dialogue, repeat dialogues between yourself. Uh, put yourself into uh, Amanda. You know, when you talk to others, mm -hmm. normally, your dialogues are good, you know, in life, no? Now, imagine that you're, making the answers that you are talking with uh, somebody else mm. and 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 repeat those dialogues in yourself when you're alone sometimes screenwriters look a little crazy because when i when i when i write i i i read i repeat my dialogues so a dialogue doesn't have to be made of big sentences actually the best dialogue is made of meaningful meaningless sentence and see many examples see especially in in some series like it depends if you want to write comedy you you see some comedies around the series uh the, the, and, and just study the the mechanism sometimes in dialogues repetition help uh, you know uh, and and always remember amanda i'll tell you the most important thing you're not actually writing dialogues Okay. And I make a pause. Oh, you are writing performance. Mm -hmm. You are writing somebody who's doing something. Now, when you talk to others, it's very clear to you what you want to say 
and how do you say it? If you're talking to your mother or, or, or and you want to convince her of something, you, you use a strategy. If you're talking to a friend, you're using a different strategy, a different code. No, it's very important to understand what your character wants to achieve and what is she or he saying. The two things may be different because sometimes, not sometimes, very often, the dialogues are not what you think. You, you, you see, but they are made for a purpose. Like, there are many, many ways that you can say, I love you in a script. Mm -hmm. It may be true. It may be a lie. It may be, no, no, I love you. Yes, of course, I love you. I, know, I, I do love you. But maybe you want to say it with an intention or you want to say it with another intention. So see, the important thing is not the words that you use, but it's what these words want to convey. So when you, when you diminish, when you don't dramatize these words, you can, you, you know, one way to, to, to learn dialogues is to imagine not dialogues, like, then you will put the words, and you can put any word in it. You will, you will realize the intention that you have in the back is more important. And see many examples, and put yourself into, try to understand, but what she's going to tell? What, what, is, what, what she wants to achieve by saying that? And the example that you, the example that you use is you yourself, because you know, like when I was asking you about the cat, you were a little, what is he asking me for? And then you said, oh, I'm sorry, the cat, uh, the cat uh, has gone, has gone already, you know? And I could read uh, some little embarrassment, you know, because <laughs> you were asked directly some, some question. If you, if you wanted to say, you want to impress, hey, my cat, it doesn't have time to wait for you. It's gone away already. And say, hey, this girl is kind of, hmm. <laughs> she's, a, she's a smart, uh, smart girl. She wants to, you know, I can tell for all of the people that I, that I spoke with, because I'm experienced, not who you are, that I cannot tell, but I get informations. I get informations from the way you, you speak, from what you say, from the attitude, like Aldi, Aldi uh, was very, very polite because he's a lawyer, you know, he's a law guy. He was very polite, thank you very much, you know. But he, he has two very straight questions, like, uh, is, and he's, he's already in his mind. Duro was asking a very uh, specific thing that told me, ah, uh, the guy, the guy is, is, uh, is impatient. Kevin was telling me that he's impatient. Not Kevin, maybe the guy, before, or Kevin, he's impatient. But uh, I think, uh, you know, he, he can take his time. Uh, Greg was uh, like, uh, you know, Greg, and, and as I'm talking to you, I see Greg is playing with this uh, lighter. <laughs> no, I can, I see that Greg, has in his back some part of Italy? <laughs> no, Athens, Paris, uh, uh, India, hmm, there's, I think, London, uh, interesting. Euro has, has something in his back, which is a sort of uh, uh, back thing with the, with the Eurolinus written in it. Very interesting. Uh, I know. Um, no, Tango has has uh, has uh, has uh, film posters. It's Amanda, bad. you are a, a, a little low and uh, with white. Xinjiang, uh, I am dying to see what is the picture in a, in a, in her T-shirt because she has a picture. I could see only the a part of the head, but Shindi is is uh, yeah. No, no, I love seeing you. You're beautiful, but. Who who you have in your in your in your shirt? Who's the picture in your shirt? Yeah, you, Shindy. Oh, uh, actually, it's Princess Leia. Princess uh, can, Leia, can you, yeah, okay. can you, 
I don't, but I, I don't really, I don't really watch Star Wars, honestly. But it's just a pretty cool shirt. Oh God, um, go and see it. <laughs> oh, you know, uh, where are you, Amanda? Because you were here, but didn't move here. Amanda, everything you you everything you do when you practice this this uh, this uh, discipline, it's flow of information. The way you talk, the way you the way you the way you have your hair and and the character moves and talks according to and the characters are more interested at those who speak less because they have to show uh euro has a, a adidas hat like my son <laughs> and then uh, and uh, and giovanni is always relaxed excel has this green uh ear for Ivan, Ivan is great. Ivan is a Western guy. Ivan has uh, as a backdrop of Western, uh, but Al Alvin, hmm, interesting. He has a garden. No, oh no, this is a this is a, a, a poster. UPH. Wow, welcome UPH 2000. This is interesting. What is UPH? Universitas uh, Split Arab. Wow, not bad. And Kevin. Kevin uh, Arajo, what is this? It's it's a it's a photo in on your back, or or, yeah, or is your home? It's just a random photo. Or, or random random. Photo. See, the girls give much less information. That's typical with the girls. If you look at the girls, they all have white, white uh, wall in the in the in the back. Clever clever as a as a mirror. Ah. It is a mirror. Okay. Mm, I think no. It's a door. Yeah. Correct. Tight door. I, I will not see everything is everything. I try to understand who am I facing. Ivan is great. This is uh, this is uh, Western. This is Sergio Leone's uh, uh, like a uh, fistful of dollars. Uh. <laughs> and uh, Priyago, what you have? In, uh, oh yeah, some clothes. Hmm. So, and you have a, a, a green one. A green one. Ah! Oh, wow! That's great. <laughs> See, I have light. So my my wife told me this morning. Said, "How can you put these two colors together? They don't make together." I love them. They light blue, and and uh, violet, and and it's still a little cold here. You see. So, Anna, Amanda, I return to you. Hmm? This being curious, 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 and the, the words will come, will fill your holes. Ask yourself, mm, I want to know more about this. Fix it and learn from the people that you have around, no? Be mm -hmm. Especially when you have to make a character different from the others. Try to understand, but what is difficult, different uh, from what this character says, how he moves? Uh, you know, I have four kids. They're, you have brothers or sisters? Yes, I have sisters actually fantastic you know i ask you tell me one not not tell me now but you think how is one how is the other and you will start getting all the differences all the things that they have in common and they have in common with you but how you're different from one are you different from the other and mm. then from this you make character and imagine you are in a conversation with your sisters you know what they will say Hmm? because you will say oh my sister will say this and my other sister will say that and then you build your own style your your, your and you make it it will be not only will be easier but it will be fun mm -hmm. because you will enjoy doing it because you will explore character and exploring character is the most interesting thing that you can do in film because that's what we're more interested in greg this is for you huh? Yeah, what you have, what you're lighting up now? Again, the lighter. When you're making your Jakarta film, you know it's a film could be just about people gathered together, and each one is different and talks a different way. That's interesting because we we get in touch with them. Hmm? Now I I I I, I move back because Priyago had a question that that uh, was so, waiting. Uh, we have like ten mm -hmm. minutes. Uh... Okay. 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 So, <laughs> then you go 
Dan so, siapa cepat dia dapat. So. <laughs> Oke. Okay. Guys, did you, did you have dinner? What time do you eat in Jakarta? 7 p.m. So, yeah. so you had so you had dinner before. Yeah. Now you, but but now you're not going out because you cannot go out. You you stuck yourself also yeah. in lockdown. Now you cannot. Ah, that's that's boring. Me, I'm here home two months now. It, it, it I, I couldn't believe this. Almost always sitting here, but that's that's my. I sleep down there. And I sit here. Then I, next time I will show you the sea. But today is cloudy. It's not good. I oh, live by the sea. It's beautiful. Yeah, oh, it's, yeah, it's beautiful, beautiful. Okay, try you go. Okay. Hello. <laughs> question. You can Hello. call me Yugo. Yugo. This yourself. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a still life photographer. Uh, uh, I'm a beginner. Uh, I, I begin writer. I write the story when I join Cinema Lima. So I have a problem. Uh, Uh, I'm trying to uh, enrich the story to uh, uh, by input uh, inputting the subplot of uh, for the character and for the main character and the other character, but but uh, it makes the story complicated and not focus on the main <laughs> conflict. Of yeah. course, of course. But my intention is to uh, to enrich the character, uh, the uh, character background, and uh, yeah, <laughs> the story is getting weaker when I try to. <laughs> because it's short movie. Uh, you know, you 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 want to you want to be a filmmaker. Yeah. Right? You're already a photographer. Now yeah. every photo you take, you can you can read it and make a story out of it, and you do it because you yeah. know why you took a picture of it. But let me say, I what character are you? You know, you want to let's say you want to become a filmmaker. You have this. I like your hair. You know, you look. You look confident. You have a you have a green uh, a green shirt. Okay. Uh, you know what what sets a character? It's what what he wants and what he and what he doesn't want. No, the 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 secret. And I don't ask you what you don't want, but try to figure that out. And uh, you know you're thinking of a subplot for your for your secondary character. Okay, get the person that you know most in life. You know your best friend, your your uh, some somebody in your family, your, your, and portray it with this yes and no. What he or she wants, what he or she fears, what she likes to do, what she doesn't like to do. Okay, that doesn't mean that you have a subplot, but you have a pole like you know energy, like plus and minus, zzz, that builds the possibility of. A subplot is a character facing something that he has to do. You know, we talk in story, we talk of the idea of an arc. Arc is where the character starts, where the character ends. Now, remember, even if I don't go trigonometry because it's too complicated, that when you handle the story, there is a main arc, which is the arc of the story. And the arc of the story may be, not necessarily, but maybe the arc of the main character. The other arcs are interesting, interesting if they are connected with the same dynamic. Because you know, you can tell a story of a secondary character that is crucial to him, but it doesn't serve the story. Which means that probably the choice that you made in secondary character is not correct. Now, when you I will see your, your material, these things will be clear because I have some uh, tools to recognize what it works and, and what not. So I'm telling Giovannino. You are entitled. I was at the end of this thing. I will send you my uh, contact. <coughs> you, you will know my name. You can get through me in Facebook or Messenger. But you will have my email yeah. and send me your stuff. And then we'll set, Giovanni. You're free to set with them. Let's say maybe you know we can even do it next week. But let's say let's give us 10 days, okay. no, so that I read your material and then we we'll return. Sometimes I will write notes. Uh, and I will give them uh, fast, so you have something that you can handle. You don't. You're not forced to write. You know, this is not homework. You, 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 <laughs> this is not a school. I don't give you votes. You know, and and of course, I'm dealing at the moment with some projects, so I have to take my time. Sometimes I, maybe I don't answer. You like you send me messages, and after half hours, I, hey. What is what do you think of my story? No, maybe I read it uh, <laughs> after. No, but. We are friends from now on. 
uh, and and uh, now Giovanni, I I am compelled. I have to come to Jakarta to meet these guys and, oh, and these you. girls. Yeah. No, I will. We will do it in the we will do it in the fall. You have to tell me what is the best time. I don't want to get there when it's rainy, rainy, rainy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so, the time is al almost over. So I think uh, maybe one question. When I mean. Yep. Yep. If there is one person, yeah, Cindy. Actually, okay. she's, uh, she's an actress. Hello, <laughs> not necessarily an actress. Uh, no, and she, she played on my film, Giovanni, oh that I sent you. Oh yeah. Oh my God, I saw you. Oh. Ah, okay. Did yes. she spot me? <laughs> I actually. Well, of course, of course. Now that you tell me, look, okay. I, I'm, I'm a, uh, I'm a. <laughs> no, not that. Not that I say the stupid thing that. Uh, <laughs> But uh, uh, but uh, that the stupid thing about because you're old, really, really very different. Ah, well, actually, re I'm actually quite old. I'm I'm 28 this year. <laughs> oh okay. my God, Cindy, you want to no. you want to you want to destroy me? I, I, I feel, <laughs> no, 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 no. I feel, I feel okay. I'm sorry. Young. I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. Okay. Thank so you. um, I I will be. This is my question. I'm um, for young. that. No. Hi, Mr. Yufani. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. I hope it's a good thing. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So honestly, so far, I'm still processing the valuable information you just shared because I'm not a film student. Um, so it takes more time for me to process all of them. Well, I do write occasionally. Um, can you hear me? Okay. I do yes. write occasionally. Okay. But for now, like, like, uh, like Koji said, uh, I work more frequently on screen rather than off the screen. But I love film industry, be it off the screen or on the screen. And I'm curious and love the process of how it's made. Movie is started with a good screen. So my question is... Oh, the question arises and, and I'm a little losing you. <laughs> the moment when you said the question, the question is <laughs> okay, you okay. So you'll have to say right. it again. I will talk slower. Um, no, but it, you can talk even faster. But I, it just got stuck the image, oh. and I didn't hear. So okay. say it again. All good. All good now. Okay. Yeah. So my question is: um, you were telling us to tell um, our story as honest as possible. Better if it mm -hmm. resonates with us well something is raw from our point of view but also yeah. um we need to tell something that is reliable to the audience something that they will believe that we watch so i'm just yeah. wondering is there any ideal ratio or the portion of how i would distrib distribute them both like um i have to be honest but i also have to please the audience <laughs> so I, i'm just wondering <laughs> no look be honest is both, be right? honest means be honest or, or, not that you have to tell things that are that are absolutely no. You know, tell yourself and be honest and tell exactly who you are. No, no, be honest is be honest with the the discipline, which means don't try to overact and I say overact uh, not in terms of acting, but to do bigger than what you honestly feel at the moment. Of course, to tell a story that that uh, touches the audience, you are putting together material that you know well because you're just more reliable with it which means you tell you're giving us a little of yourself and you're applying to some fantasy construction but you know fantasy construction means that you are combining the element that you're combining are elements that you are familiar with things that you've seen now you know when i was making my first class it was almost 30 years ago my first class with screenwriters in Italy, I was returned from the States. I was not very experienced. I remember one guy, uh, and it was a screenwriting class, so everybody had to pitch the idea for the story. One guy says, "No, my story, you know, is set in New York." I said, so wait a minute, have you ever been to New York? No. So how can you write a story about New York if you don't know what it is? You know, that means being honest. Handle things. That's why I say, Greg, but to say to all of you. The richest material that you have is the material you have there, closed, which means it belongs to your culture. It belongs to your community, which doesn't mean that you are compelled to do this. But it means that you, if you want to find inspiration for stories, even if you set them in Mars or in, in, in Star Wars uh, 
galaxy, it means that the material you rely on, the human uh, force, are things that you are close to. And, you know, just to, to give an example, the most successful film of the year, the first film in the world to win the Oscar without being an American film, is a film by a Korean, well said, that is telling a story about a community that he knows well and he portrays from the side of view of poor people and rich people and it melts them together and the inherent thing that you get is that from a human point of view we all share the same misery you know it's it's ironic it's sad is is uh, is 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 funny it's it's uh, it's it's moral and and it 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 draws but the same guy has made films that uh, uh that, that 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 were dealing with i don't know with, with crime you know he made a film about i remember he made a film about a vampire like vampire priest oh, he's he's the other he's the other guy he's a part he's the other guy yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, it's park. you know he's not young bo but young bo made memories of oh, murder yeah. i think that, oh, that was yeah. a, a crime story and he made, and he made, uh, he made his masterpiece, uh, uh, the memorial uh, murders. Uh, the, the 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 guy that that is closed in the uh, what's his name? Mother. No mother. Who, who was the guy that made the uh, uh, old boy? Park Chan Wook. Park Chan Wook. Park Chan Wook. So, okay, so I confuse Young Bo but with Park Chan. Okay. Uh, he, he had he had an array of stories that, that both had an array of stories where they are more realistic, more fantastic. But you know, even Old Boy is a film that tells a, a lot about them. You know, you can make it, you can make because you can make genre and set it in Jakarta because of course there would be. Look, I come from Italy. You know, we we made a fortune. Uh, even the Americans are making film about Italians doing crime, and and one of them is. One of the most famous films ever, uh, The Godfather. Uh, you know, whenever there is desires, and human desires, the, 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 there's material that is fit to the, to a story. You know, being honest, being 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 honest with yourself. You know, tell stories that you have spent some you know investment in in it. Don't be superficial. Don't be, don't be easy, you know, think about what, what you want to do. And I said, the process of thinking is asking yourself question. And the original question is, what do I want to tell? From that, it springs everything else. Then of course, in the process of making a story, you will ask yourself and you will answer thousands of questions, you know, but you have to be honest in, you, you, don't, you don't have to make fun of yourself. You have to be honest in the, and when you say, I don't know, you make more research. You ask yourself deeper. Or you ask, you ask somebody that you trust. Like, you know, there's some people here that said, I have a problem with my story. It's okay. I read your, I read your material. Not all, not all the story, you know, but I read your material. I'll get an idea. And if, if I find not a solution, because, you know, there's not a matter of solution. Be, you know, always remember when you write a story, there's not somebody outside that has the key to tell the story. The key is in yourself. What I can give you is the way to arrive to this key of this solution earlier or to bring a process that allows you to face these problems when they arise directly and in the most efficient way. Because becoming a filmmaker, it's a process where you recognize who you are. You know, it, it, one of the things that makes this business, this, this job fascinating is that you are in a dialogue with yourself. That's what I mean. Don't fool yourself. Be honest on that behalf. But ask yourself, how can I do things better? How can I do things better means, you know, means some training, which means I spend more time reading my material, trying to understand, can I do this thing better? And as an actress, you know. You know this process, you know, because you know that it's it's the more the more you, you you become somebody else. But again, it's like the rule: you cannot become somebody else if you don't know who you are as an actress. 
because then you know your potential and you know what you can add. And you're fascinated by the idea that you're doing something different than what you are by knowing who you are. Mm. And then it becomes good. Okay, I hope it, I hope it's there. Uh, Giovannino, oh, I'll get back to you. I think uh, you. the time is... Was it? But... Uh, you know, time, time flew. It, it, it was <laughs> two hours and it was very pleasant. I know that now you're super, super tired because you, you're yeah. sick to hear my voice. But yeah. it was very pleasant for me. So, but we set think, the rules, no? Yeah, I think, uh, like, uh, who doesn't have a chance to ask a question, so we, maybe, they, like uh, like you said, you will give uh, an email, your email. Right? I, will send, I will send you immediately my, my contacts yeah. that you have. And you, turn them, you turn to them, you, you know, the, the immediate thing is, yeah. even to get into Facebook because then yeah. you can talk messenger uh, whatever you if you need uh, yeah uh, it's it's a it's a strange time now because we're you know we, we we're facing something unseen but uh, I really really hope that this thing grows and becomes a, a, a very nice yeah a very nice habit yeah and uh, and that and we build something you know yes. and I'm waiting yeah I to think see uh, I think the most important is the feedback. So I think uh, if you guys have a, like like a story, wants to have a, uh, have opinion from Giovanni, so you could directly email him. So he will give a feedback to you, right? Right, Giovanni. And then I will I will send you a couple of films, possibly yeah. one feature and one or two shorts to see, so we can discuss and we can go. Yeah. See how they do it here. See what they do there. How it works. How we see. How we understand. How a dialogue is dealt in this uh, in this scene. Mm? Yeah. I have a beautiful dialogue for Amanda <laughs> that I will send her, and you you know it because you've seen it in Schindler's List. Uh, oh. Dialogue between uh, Schindler and and Stern. Mm. But it's a dialogue where they're talking about everything else. And you get the sense of what they're actually talking only in the end. Yeah. It's, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Okay, Giovanni, yes. I'm a little tired myself because I spoke a lot. <laughs> so, I, I mean, uh, but this is very exciting and interesting. So, I hope that I could arrange again for the next. Right, yeah. guys? So, are you agree? There will, be, there will be no problem. You write me whenever you want. So, uh, we speak almost uh, yeah, every day. So, but unfortunately, the time is, I mean, we have to stop and yeah. yeah. So, but we, we because, still- Because, because, it's, because but the, it's 10 o'clock. Yeah, but Japan. the most important thing that, that we have the relationship now, the new relationship with you. So, yeah, I okay. think that's the most. So, um, thank you so much. Uh, and do you have a closing, closing statement? Closing words? Yeah, closing words no. for us or <laughs> motivation. Jo Giovanni, no, Giovanni is a good friend. You know, uh, he knows when we spend some time together. Uh, you know, not only he has my name, <laughs> and uh, we were together <coughs> in 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 uh, in Oak Ridge. I I I still feel that something bad has been yeah, taken I mean, from I... him, but he's giving me. A lot of a lot of joy with his with his not only with with his accomplishment, uh, but also with this thing because uh, you know this uh, is very important to have uh, to be in a class. So yeah. you know, trust him and and uh, and be thankful because he is taking the the energy of, of doing this and. Uh, and and this is precious, really. It's precious uh, throughout the planet. Now you can tell it. You know, I'm not, I'm not in in the next room by him. <laughs> I, I'm really in another in another country, and it's. Uh, I will show it. Oh my! Oh, you can see it. It's five five o'clock, five ten, <laughs> in my watch. So it's still light. It was great to stay with you, and I hope it. Becomes in the end of a famous uh, film, Casablanca, this is the beginning of a long friendship. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. Fair.
Okay, see you. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Stay safe. And now my finger goes to Liz meeting. Ciao. Cute, Scully. Bye, bye. Okay.